Welcome to the A2 Schools Podcast. I'm the host, Andrew Cluley. It may seem like only a couple days ago we were kicking off the 2017-18 school year, but graduation season is wrapped up, schools have held their ice cream socials, and summer break is about to begin. So joining with me today to recap the year and give a bit of an early preview for the 2018-19 school year is Superintendent Janice Swift. Welcome back to the A2 Schools Podcast, Dr. Swift. Well, hi, Andrew. It's wonderful to be back and Wow, it's June. <laughs> I know, it's it's crazy, except for we just went through five amazing graduation ceremonies, so we you know it's June because it's graduation season. <laughs> we do, we do, and every night, Andrew, we just love graduations because they're such a community celebration, and each of the five plus Y High makes six, um, each of them has their own unique personality, and yet they're all just tremendous celebrations of our students, approximately 1,200 graduates this spring, and I'm so proud that uh, we shook every hand uh, as they crossed the stage, and what a great time of celebration for our community. And of course, graduation is in many ways the biggest uh, award you can get as a high school student. It's the big prize. It is. Um, but it's far from the only award that uh, Ann Arbor Public Schools have received over the course of this year. It seems like every time we turned around, we won something new. Uh, can you talk about some of the, the big ones that you remember? Well, you're right, Andrew. It's just uh, been an embarrassment of riches here in the Ann Arbor Public Schools in terms of uh, national awards. We're just so excited about our Slauson Golden Bears uh, taking uh, their Science Olympiad team to the national tournament in Denver, Colorado. They received an overall 15th place ranking out of over 8,000 schools competing. So they just rock. We're so proud. Uh, of the work that they did and, and these middle schoolers uh, really showing themselves nationally. Um, it has been a great year with Allen Elementary receiving their National Blue Ribbon uh, Award and uh, particularly Allen coming off the year of the flood and then achieving the national di distinction. Uh, just an incredible time for Allen Elementary. Um, we also had teachers win awards. Uh, just uh, very delighted to see uh, our own uh, Chris Erickson from Huron High School, who just was awarded a Global Learning Fellowship through the National Education Association for the upcoming 2018-19 school year. Uh, so evidently, Mr. Erickson will be able to engage in a year of blended and face-to-face -face professional development, and his fellowship will come and culminate with a visit to South Africa next summer. So how exciting, yeah. how exciting for him. Yeah. Sounds amazing. And then, of course, uh, every year the Ann Arbor Public Schools does so well when, in terms of the number of National Merit semifinalists yes. that we get named. And I believe we were number one in the state again this year. We were 58 National Merit Scholars, uh, the highest number of any district uh, in Michigan. We're so proud of our students, Andrew. We're proud of them wherever they achieve on the spectrum. And yet uh, that number says that uh, we have students who uh, are uh, benefiting from their education and achieving at very high levels. So, of course, those are all big victories for our students and our staff and, and the community as a whole. Uh, we're also hoping that we get another victory, a different type of victory, uh, from the court system coming up. Uh, we're hoping pretty soon here. We are, Andrew. You know, we were in front of the Michigan Supreme Court on April 11th for preliminary hearings. Uh, that was a great day, but we didn't get any answers that day. It was a great day uh, to be there, to be there with the justices, and to speak about the importance of keeping guns out of our school, that we believe that school and our classrooms are sacred places of learning for students, and we don't believe guns should have any part of that equation. Um, and so uh, we're looking forward perhaps to hearing something this summer. So uh, we'll stay tuned and ask our parents to stay tuned uh, to see what, what is the outcome of this next chapter. Now, before we uh, 
close the book, so to speak, on this school year. Are there any other personal highlights that you you know think of you and stand out to you for? for the, what's happened in the Ann Arbor Public Schools this year. Well, I've been so proud, Andrew, that our high school students and our middle school students and even our elementary students have uh, raised uh, their voices throughout this year to really stand up for what they believe in. And, of course, much of this occurring following the Parkland uh, shooting, uh, and yet our students really standing up and speaking out uh, on a number of levels and working with our elected officials. I recently had the opportunity to be with um, all of our elected officials from Southeast Michigan and a group of our high school students. They were doing an excellent job of, of just talking about how to make this a better place, uh, that we live in a better community. I'm really proud of the student voice Andrew over this past year. You know, our TEDx conference is another place where we really see our student voice and creativity shining through. Um, I'm really proud of where our students are headed, and we want to continue to serve them well so that they can lead forward. Now, of course, for, for a lot of kids, uh, we're coming up on that last day of school. They are going to be so thrilled. Uh, but that doesn't mean that the district goes silent. No. Our buildings don't empty out uh, exactly as much as, as you might think. Yes, that's true. You know, we, as we are gearing down in traditional schools and classrooms, both our summer learning academic programs are gearing up. We'll have a uh, a couple of thousand students involved in those programs in varying uh, levels and in different ways. And then we also have our tremendous Reckon Ed summer programming. And Andrew, they are in every corner of town. They are doing everything you can imagine from superhero camp to Lego camp to um, our environmental education approach that we do down on the Huron River and in a number of places around town. So, you know, Andrew, it's over 5,000 summer student um, enrollments just in our Rec and Ed program alone. So um, our district is busy year-round um, and we're excited about all the enrichment and the opportunities that summer 2018 will bring. There really is something for, for every kid to do in, in our Rec and Ed program. Yes, there really is. Now there's also some work that has to be done in and to our schools over yes. the summer months as yes. well. Yes. So you know, Andrew, another thing we're busy doing during the summer is rehabbing and cleaning and painting and fixing up and repairing. And our facilities team is uh, ramped up and ready. And uh, after that last day of school, they'll be moving very quickly in and through our buildings to get that summer rehab complete. We're very grateful for that work. They only have a few weeks and they have a lot, quite a lot of work to accomplish. But they'll be making sure that our buildings look nice and, and beautiful when we head back to school next fall. Yes. What are some of the things that, that maybe we can expect to see happening at the, the beginning and throughout the 2018-19 school year? Well, we're really excited, Andrew, about a number of things. You know, it's about programs, uh, getting our young fives into every one of our elementary schools. Very exciting to get that done. Um, as you know, we've been on that path for a few years, and we'll have over 400 young fives enrolled this fall. So very excited about that. Getting Project Lead the Way. Our students Students are very excited about this hands-on project-based learning and they're going to be able um, to do even more Project Lead the Way in the fall. Um, also adding that career program onto our international baccalaureate programming at Huron High School and that's going to allow our students to really combine um, their, uh, their rigorous academics of IB alongside a career passion or interest, whether that's business or automotive or any of our uh, wide variety uh, of career programs, engineering, any of the other programs. So we're very excited about new programming coming this fall. We're also excited about a number of physical improvements. We'll be in every building deploying that additional sinking fund to get at the backlog of infrastructure and improvements, physical improvements that we need in all of our schools across the district. 
So even if, if uh, people can't tell necessarily, because some of the, these projects I remember aren't necessarily visible, yes. um, but, but it is uh, required to, to make sure that our buildings stay in good shape. Exactly. So a lot of it is behind the scenes. It might be a, a, a boiler repair or things you won't be aware of right away, but uh, we are deploying every single dollar uh, that our voters have approved to, uh, to leverage a better physical plant uh, so that our students have a better learning environment and our staff has a better place uh, to work and to learn with students. And one last thing, I know that uh, you had started off your Listen and Learn tour this spring, but you're going to continue that back on, get that up, back up and rolling in the fall, I assume? Yes, Andrew, we're so grateful. We had several thousand responses both online in the thought exchange and face to face we're putting all of that data together into a, a draft a skeleton of our new strategic plan for the district it's very a very exciting time in the district uh, to do this work you know our old plan is about 15 years old so it's really time to get this uh, updated so we'll be out again in the fall just after after back to school. So that'll be in October, 1st of October through mid-November time frame. We'll be out with this draft asking for input and feedback from our parents, from our students, from our community, from our staff. Very excited about that process. So we've had a great year for 2017-18 and it looks like there's more excitement to come in 2018-19. There really is, Andrew. We're so appreciative of the support of our parents, our staff, our students, and our community. We're very fortunate in the Ann Arbor Public Schools to have the support of folks. And we just want to wish everyone a wonderful uh, summer and a safe summer 2018. All right. Well, thank you very much for your time, Dr. Swift, here on the A2 Schools Podcast. Thank you, Andrew.